So good morning. Let's start. Let's start with the market. Another good day. Every day is a good day if you're a trader. What a what a great skill to have. Uh, market, you know, talked about yes uh, yesterday. You know, you just you just continue to move along, right? Got to move along. Just continue to move these move these lines. So this this becomes this becomes your res what was resistance now becomes your new support. And then your support is right around here. This is a nice where market kind of pivoted or 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 yesterday market bottomed. You can see what happened yesterday. And we we did this we did this work yesterday as well. You know, right here, market right into what 10 o'clock reversal time. Those of you who know the reversal time and have traded with me, it, it plays a huge role. And uh, and look look what has what has happened. Um, you know we got a kind of we got a double bottom here, and we never look back. So nice nice move up. Uh, during that time, I was actually shorting Myrna because that was showing relative weakness yesterday uh, in Myrna, and I might might have Myrna on my watch list again today because this is you know it takes out 136. It's going to have it's going to have a nice room lower could be we talked about yesterday on Myrna that you know it's, now it's caught up to the rising 21 ma but these two are super stretched between each other so that once the stock drops between the moving averages that are stretched it 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 drops pretty pretty quickly here so Myrna Myrna could be watched so i'm going to put this on the um I'll just put on a short uh, as shorts to watch Myrna. So that's how I shorted Myrna as far as relative uh, weakness. Baidu was, you know, just look at this. I mean, come on. At some point, things have to get back to normal. So you, you can see what, what happened here. So what, what you see is like way up, we got a biggest bar, biggest bar, volume and the bar and another gap up. And this one really rallied yesterday. If I if I show you guys right here on the 15 minute chart, it rallied. And then I shorted under one. Uh, what did I short? Like 190 something, 25. Uh, Baidu, uh, but it worked out really good. Uh, and I've, I, you know, I stacked my order here on 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 Baidu. Uh, let's see if uh, there you go. I uh, shorted at 190, 199.23, and then just stacked the order on Baidu. So. Uh, and then obviously we took profit quite a, quite frankly took uh, 199.23 I I shorted and and covered at what 190 uh, 195.35 so I covered it pretty quickly here on Baidu so that's 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 the Baidu how we shorted uh, going back to the markets uh, going back to the markets you you take a look at spiders they're the same right it's right at the highs about I mean this gapping over your know, new highs on the spiders um, if you if you want to draw your lines that that that's your new that's your new support what was resistance became support so you had a nice rally here nice rally so you you're you're forming that you know beautiful uh, w here so w gives you measured move measured move 364 371 maybe 378 uh, 380. Now we are in 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 our swing trading. We are long of these indexes, spies, and Qs, and now we're up about 60, 70 percent on those um, on those options. So doing well there as well. And then IWM higher. If I can get there, look at this continuous. You know, if if this can just. I mean, this is really good. But what's really got interested interesting in the market is how these uh, the, how these mega mega caps are starting to move. And if mega stop mega mega caps starting to move here, this is going to give a major major bump into the market and into per, your proverbial Santa rally. But you know, Apple we're swing long. Apple Apple looks you know Apple had a nice rest day inside day today gapping up look for apple this is definitely one you want to watch as you know as a continuation here daily chart in play you got a nice trading gap back to the highs amazon we got long yesterday in our swing trading uh, this is my favorite favorite pattern amazon that's a nice cup that's handle building and about to break out of the handle uh, we got in at 3197 and uh, today is at 32.49, so nice little move here on Amazon. The weekly charts looks really, really good, breaking this little bit of a down downtrend line. So if you're an Amazon trader, this one you also want to keep an eye. So that's another mega uh, mega cap. But Microsoft is another one that broke out yesterday, broke out of this 
consolidation. And today is this just right here, but so these mega caps, if they start going, look out, look up, look up above, actually not look out below, but look up above. It's going to have some good, uh, good momentum here. Market will have really, really good momentum if these start to, uh, if these start to show up and they, they will show up, they will show up big. Um, they are, they are the real market mover. Uh, what I've noticed, uh, in the past, you know how Apple used to be the market proxy. Uh, if the way the Apple goes, so the market goes. It's it's not really it's not really the uh, the case anymore. It's more like Tesla, and I'm going to show you guys this because well, we have some time today uh, to how you prepare for the pre market uh, pre market because understanding the market is super important as a day trader. If you're not trading with the market, then you really, what are you doing, right? Because it's important. Market moves up, stocks move up. There are very few stocks that will have relative strength that will keep them up, maybe that one day. But overall, as goes the market, so goes your stock. So, so that's how, you know, Tesla, if you look at Tesla yesterday, you know, same thing. Look at this Tesla bottomed here, and I can show you here better. Tesla bottomed here, right up here. So take a look. Look what happened. This, you know, about 10, 10:30 reversal time, and 10:30 market market double bottom. So right here, Tesla bottom 6:11, finished at 6:22 for the rest of the day. So I think you know this is becoming more of a market proxy than anything else. And I'll show you this. Look at this, 10, 10:30, right? Tesla bottom, market bottom, and market double bottom. So becoming more of a market proxy here. All right, let's take a look at our gap ups and gap down. We have, uh, I think we have a couple of things that, you know, setting up pretty nicely here. Um, a rad is definitely a tier one, tier one gap. Now it's, you know, it's right at resistance. So that's, you know, that's the only thing that I am not giving, you know, right off the bat that I'm interested, uh, I am excited to say, oh man, you know, this is this is the one I got to go right at the open now. However, I, what a, here's a trading plan for the red. I I love for red to open lower, print a red bar on the one minute chart, ideally under the twenty dollar mark because that's where we're at. See this right right here. This is this is where the resistance at about twenty bucks, and that's where it's opening up. But it is it is gapping over one, two, three, four red bar because what do you have a red bar what is topping tail the topping tail is a red bar because this bar was green at one point finished at the low so really understand what happened in 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 short time but you and then all of these folks right here were in profit yesterday they're like no we don't want to hold into the earnings we want to sell and you got a little bit of a volume so they've sold and maybe some some traders got short here as well so today, over 20 bucks, you've got triple top here, kind of you know, double, triple, whatever you want to call it. But you've got a, this a top here on the weekly chart. This thing's take if, if we take out this thing, this thing has room to 24 bucks. So that's the trading plan. Open up red, open up lower, print us a red bar, and after you print us a red bar, then then we go into um, then we play over the over that red bar. Hopefully it's under twenty dollars. Give us a good entry. Enter with the risk. This could be an all-day hold. So that's the plan for the red. A bus, same thing. Airbus is, you know, uh, or, or whatever. A, a bus is gapping up uh, to five hundred one. And you know, this is not a tier one gap, even though it has a shock value uh, over the red bar. But it's right into this resistance, right into this area. Same concept. We'd like to get a good setup here on A bus, and I'll. I'll be interested. Now, ORBC is is good. It's gapping to 730. 730 takes you right up here. It got a little bit of resistance to the left, but I think this is this is all worked out way back when. So it's all worked out during this time, this time, this time, and around here it all worked out. I think this has room to about eight dollars here on on ORBC. Um, Next one is Riot. Obviously, this this one is interesting because now it's gapping to 1167. Uh, Bitcoin is at uh, 22,000, and same thing with Mara too, right? Mara is doing the same thing, so they could be in play both Mara and and Riot. So you can see Mara is gapping up as well. So you can keep an eye on them. Uh, Mara is not. I mean, it's coming after you know big green bar here, uh, Mara. So I'm not sure if I'm interested in Mara. 
I like Riot a little bit better because I, you know, I've got some some things that I can I can work with. Um, this one I'm gonna pass. There's no volume, so let me delete that. Uh, C H W Y is, you know, it's up 100 bars. It up up 100 bars and then gapping up another. But it's on a, on a pullback. I do like this. I do like. CHWY because daily chart strong the weekly chart is up one two three four five weeks so keep an eye but needs a pullback here uh, CDE CDE is gapping up to uh, 10 10 63 uh, same thing here three weeks two weeks biggest bar today matter of fact this is like Baidu look at this but not like Baidu because it's not it's just broke out it broke out yesterday matter of fact uh, so this could have continuation needs a pullback before we can play higher. Uh, it's so 77 is right up here. So you've got room maybe to 78. It's going to be a quick one. Um, it's a tier two gap in, yeah. into a lot of stuff to the left. So keep an eye on this. It pulls back you're going to need a pullback entry i think on a pullback entry it will be good jbl new high 44 dollars was the um the high on the weekly chart it's been up nicely it's the, this chart's been up coming up after a red bar it's not a tier one gap it's a tier two gap um it it does um it's just there's no shock value here even the red this red bar doesn't provide you any shock value it's nobody really sold it and it closed below the below the previous day low so that's how you really think about it okay you know what jay jay said okay you know what if, if it's a red bar it's a shock value it should be a tier one gap well yes but you know you have to understand where the red bar is coming from if you just print a red bar and it doesn't even take out the yesterday's low i mean there is a there's no shock value so there's no shock value here so it's tier two gap um, could be quite frankly it's really tier three um, but um, i can probably uh, build a case for tier two but i'm not too too excited uh, roku roku is super super chart super chart on roku uh, really really nice consolidation on roku here on a daily chart today's gapping up roku is definitely one of my favorites to play higher as a daily continuation play um, new highs on roku you you i mean i would have i was hoping we get a, this weekly inside bar but that's a that's a wishful thinking um, sq same thing super chart here on sq daily chart and play uh, paypal we talked about yesterday uh, yesterday it it broke out had a nice run yesterday and today we might see continuation uh, nvax i like this daily pattern on the nvax it came back Put a reversal bar yesterday. Today is gapping up a little bit. Uh, now this one, if you catch it early, it puts move in the first 30 minutes, and then you know some. It depends what happens. But when I say the first 30 minutes, you know this first bar is 30 minutes bar. Look at 30 minutes bar, and then it does nothing. 30 minutes bar does nothing. 30 minutes bar does nothing. 30 minutes bar, and it you know, maybe yesterday. So that's how that's how NVAX. You know the behavior of NVAX, and I look at those. You know, I look at those nuances and see, you know, what what the chart chart behavior is telling me. So that's what I have. Um, um, that is what I've got on the long side. Yum, and let's take a look at yum. Let's take a look at yum. Yum is gapping up 922 shares. I mean, there's no volume. Daily chart is good. Daily chart is okay. Um, daily chart is okay on Yum, but uh, the volume is 900, 900 shares, so not much for me. And y Yandex, Y and DX is gapping up uh, 18,000 shares, about a percent gap. Yeah, it's nice. Yandex is nice, Andres. I like it. Yandex is nice. Nice little base here is taken up, taken out of the base. It's coming after green bars, a tier two, tier three gap kind of. So Yandex, I will add this to my list as well. So that is a good find. Thank you. Uh, Yandex is good. Um, let's see if anybody else has any anything. Uh, if not, let's get into AGI long. Let's take a look. AGI already shake out. AGI got a nine. Okay, twenty-five thousand shares. I can work with that. I like to have fifty. It's gapping to nine fifty-four. Nice, uh, yeah, nice 
954. So you got right. You see, the problem is this is this is your resistance area. So it's gapping right into resistance. Uh, so if it maybe pull back, you know, just maybe pull back. You you need to pull back. I do like the weekly chart. It's it's starting it's starting to turn on the weekly chart. Uh, you uh, were and you can just you know, you can quickly eyeball this one. Look at this. It just broke the downtrend. It just broke the downtrend. It tested the downtrend line, and now it's trying to move higher. So I like it. Uh, we can uh, AGI. Let me add it. Actually, I like it. I like this AGI. Uh, this is this is a good find uh, by NRB. Thank you. All right. A um, couple other the you know daily suspects. Um, Twitter. Um, it's all right. Um, LI. I've been watching this PLTR. I've been watching this. I, I really like PLTR. I think PLTR. Uh, it, it's if PLTR could be a swing trade. I mean, honestly, if PLTR take out twenty. If if it takes out this area, this high, uh, right here, let's say twenty twenty seven, PLTR can explode. So I am. This is. This is the one that I want to watch, PLTR. So this this can explode here. Uh, all right. So what else do I have? Uh, BA. Uh, that's that's nothing. Um, I've been I'm I'm watching uh, Rocket. Uh, this is same thing. Rocket. Keep keep watching this Rocket. It can have a really really good move here on Rocket as well. All right. So now let's get into the downside. TRT, this is super gap down. Uh, it's hard to borrow. N not sure if it's if I can borrow this in, uh, but it's hard to borrow. I got a request, but this is gapping to 925. It's like way, way, not even in in the chart. 30% gap rallied. It can be short on the rally. Uh, Zion, I do like this. This is my favorite gap down. You've got a nice sell setup here on the daily chart. And now it's gapping under that, so 360. There's some support, but I think we're going to see 330 here with a five or ten cent stop. You can get nice um, ACNP, it perhaps the best gap down. And I'm trying to locate this. I haven't gotten confirmation on HCNP, but if you have HCNP in any platform, this is the one you want to short. Uh, if it takes out this area, like around 70, so 71, 15. I mean, this got nothing. It's it's just it's a really really nice gap down. Unfortunately, it's not available. Baidu, I am looking to short this Baidu. I am looking to short this Baidu again on continuation. I think Baidu gives us about 170. Once you know, we could see 175 on Baidu, and maybe gap failed here 167. So keep an eye on on Baidu. IQ, um, yeah, this is uh, IQ had a big big down day and another. Sometimes they do get continuation because what happens is this was, this is a tier one gap here. The only I I call it a tier one gap because it's gapping. You know, obviously this is a nice bullish pattern, and this gapping under the flat 200 period moving average. And look what it did all day. It just and we talked about this IQ yesterday. Tier one gap and tier one gap change the complexion of the chart. It changes the long term trend of the chart. So this they can really get going. You, if you don't believe me. Take a look at TXTG. What is it? TXTG or TX? What was it? I don't know. But this is this TXG. The reason I just scanned for swing, and this looks really good swing. Uh, what was that chart? Tier one gap that we played the other day. Uh, T TGTX. Thank you, Alan. Look at TGTX. This is a tier one gap, and it changed the complexion of the chart long term. It's one, two, three, four, five. If you got this, is the one you get long right at the open. Thirty-three to fifty-three. This almost doubled in five days. So they they really changed the complexion. Uh, same thing with with ZS. You know that's that's a tier one gap, and it's it's in it's in the works of changing the complexion of the chart. But they do change the complexion. I can give you many 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 examples, and that's all I got. And then Myrna here. Um, let me see what something's showing up on the scanner. Uh, this is uh, uh, we can we can keep an eye on this the IPO. 
SCPS. This is gapping to 2150. Look at the look at the volume here. 1.8 million. I'm gonna add that. If this, I'm gonna watch it. There's there's no. It's just you gotta you gotta trade it based on the order flow, based on what's been happening and and how you feel about it. I I do like this SCPS. Uh, just just hit my scanner on the volume. Um, let's see. We've covered that. We covered that one. Uh, Rad is good. Riot, Chewy, CDE. Um, just going over my scanner one more time. Uh, uh, space. You can add it to the downside. Maybe there's some room here on the space. More more downside. Uh, OCG. Uh, yeah, there's another one. Oriental Culture Holding, uh, 1714, two days. Now it's gapping up pff, on a 2 million shares. Yeah, let's add it. Let's add it, see how this, this one trade. Now, I'm not going to be watching this right at the open, but yes, we can add it. I mean, And then you've got, you know, obviously recent IPOs like Dash, Wish, um, and which is gapping up a little bit. Um, and uh, so that's it. And I do like this Caterpillar daily chart. I think this one has super, super uh, performance written all over it. Um, and then let's look at CAN. Uh, CAN is, yeah. Uh, and if you want to really, here, here are some of, the, I, I, you know, here, here are my, uh, we talked about the OCG. That's up 200 SCPS. I already put that in your um, in your the pre-market mover. TCAT, um, really NXTD, maybe the one that I like, and that could have continuation from yesterday because now it's over one dollar. If you if you want to trade some of the uh, some of the speculatives, so those are the ones that um, can get going. But that's all I have. So. All right, it is uh, 925 or 625 my time. So I, you know, I think we're good. We are ready to go. Um, keep an eye on RAD. I do like the RAD is the best. I gave you the trade plan for the RAD. Um, I think this, uh, there you go. It just, it just broke 20 bucks. So let's see. Let's see how it trades right at the open. So I, I, if I was not on the mic, I probably would have been trading this pre-market over 20. This, this, this was, this is that good, because you've got two million shares almost traded. So half of its float is traded. It trades about four and a half million a day. Just in the pre-market, we've traded half of the float. So keep an eye. Have a good rest of the day. Uh, so yeah. FCX looks pretty good too, but have a good rest of the day and I will talk to you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. and good luck today. Thanks. Bye.